Okay, this is gonna be a really quick, unplanned, no makeup, first thing in the morning, got a zit on my chin, kind of a rant video, I guess you could say. You can do anything, but you can't do everything. And that's what I try and do. I try and do everything. I say, okay, I'm not gonna work today because I can't um, go over a certain amount of time, and then I end up working. Or I say, okay, I'm gonna get this one thing done, but then all these other things come up. And I used to just think it's because I'm like, I have FOMO, but another thing to account for is that the fact that we always get pulled from every like corner of our lives, especially if you're a mom, especially if you're a female, especially if you're a parent, especially if you're an employee, especially if you're a human. I am so frustrated with how many different areas there are in my life right now. Like when I talk about minimalizing my house, that's like easy because it's tangible. And then it gets a little bit harder when you're talking about like digital minimalism. So like all your pictures, all of your files, all of your like digital stuff, you want to minimize that. And then minimizing your life and the amount of crap in it and the things that you do and the people that you hang out with. So like, I just cannot, I can't, I don't even know what I'm trying to say in this video. It's just that you can't hang out with everyone. You can't be everyone's best friend. You can love a handful of people as hard as you possibly can. And you can love the rest of the world with common human decency and being polite to people and like being gracious towards people. But it just sucks that you can't be everyone's best friend and that not everyone's your friend and you're still gonna get backstabbed even when you're 27 years old. But I guess what I'm trying to say is do not feel guilty for taking a step back from people. Like in 2019, I'm a part of like four group texts that sometimes I just have to delete the thread. I love every single person in there, but sometimes I just have to delete the thread because I physically cannot keep up. And I understand that like everyone has something going on in their lives. Everyone has a problem. Everyone's having a crisis, whatever. But uh, that ain't my crisis. And I got my own crises to deal with. So, take a step back. Don't feel guilty about it. You can still love people and love yourself and spend some time with Jesus, and it's all going to work out. When we were at church this weekend, like the, the fourth learning topic was keep the main thing the main thing. And I talk about this with the little program that I'm putting together, is that if you focus on being a child of God and you focus on being a, a, a good Christ follower, then you don't have to focus so hard on being skinny, being the best mom, being the best friend, being the best employee, all these things. You don't have to do that. You just keep the main thing the main thing. And then like, what are, what was this other one? Hold on, I gotta look. Cause it was good. It was good y'all, I'm telling you. Yeah, cling to the truth. Number one, cling to the truth. Uh, number two, hold on to hope. Number three, represent Christ regardless of your age. And number four, keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, people won't remember how you start, but they will remember how you end. So even if you've got off to a crappy start this week, I love you and it's all about the ending. So take a break, give yourself some grace. And don't let people guilt trip you into not being a part of every single event that you're invited to. Love you, bye.